What's going on everybody? So today we're talking progression in Hegan here and I'm currently on day three and I've got new chapter four. So I want to give you all some tips to progress a little bit quicker. Keep in mind that I have spent a decent amount. I would say I bought both of the passes and some of the real cheap packs. Uh, so I'm definitely not a free to play player by any means, but that also gives me a little bit more info on some ways that have helped me progress due to that so let's dive into it first talking about leveling up your character uh, or your reputation here and there's three ways to do this and for if you're free to play i highly recommend you do not use this way right here but we'll talk about that in just a moment the two best ways are to go ahead and go through the campaign and first time clear this is what you're going to want to do when you're first time clearing both the chapter stages and the cleanse stages so you can see here the region cleanse in the bottom right both of these are going to give you xp for the first completion okay this is very very important because this is one of the only ways you can get reputation and is the best way to get reputation usually on the first couple of days this will carry you straight to level 30 as long as you time it properly and you're able to at least somewhat control your characters on manual okay on top of that the second way to get xp or reputation XP is through the daily quests. So you're going to want to complete your daily quests here every single day. This is very, very crucial to really amp up your uh, progression so that you can actually get your reputation levels. Between those two things, you should easily carry you to around level 30, potentially to even 47 if you're continuing onwards, but you'll likely, assuming you're progressing earlier on in the first couple days, get locked around 47 not able to reach that level 50 which means that you're locked from content what i recommend doing at that point if you're free to play is to not use a ton of your energy refills to try to push this extra xp instead save those and use your daily xp to transition you into the level 50 and then use all your stamina potions if you're someone like me who has spent a little bit of money then you could go ahead and afford to go ahead and spend your energy refills to get the stamina um, spent so you can get some extra XP here. That'll push you over to level 50. And then after you reach level 50, that's when the game really starts to amp up, in my opinion. But that's going to help you at least the first few days. The goal should be to really focus on adventure and then daily quest secondary. And then after that, everything else is off to the wayside. Second tip here, uh, or second thing to remember about progression is that you can only use four characters. So I highly recommend that you do not build more than four characters. Now, this doesn't mean that you can't experiment. As I mentioned in my previous video, you can build whoever you want and then reset them. In fact, I have been going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth between Media, Eluya, and Rita here because I'm trying to figure out who has been absolutely amazing. And I'll have a full video describing my experiences. But I will level up someone straight up to level 50, dive into there, and then figure out, oh, well, I don't really like them that much in this stage, so I'll back out, try it a different character. But the whole point is, you don't want to have like a level 50 character and a level 30 character as a fifth character. Like, let's say I wanted to upgrade five characters. You don't want to do that because in the early game, your resources are really spread thin. As soon as you start upgrading skills and, and awakening or ascending other characters, you start to really run low on resources. Another tip here is to really, really amp up your progression by leveling up your abilities. Your abilities, scaling up, uh, them up through these skill um, combat techniques is huge, okay? Uh, along with ascensions, right? Which is why we're so focused on getting those reputation levels because these are locked behind your reputation level. So really focus on skill upgrades and ascensions more so than anything else simply getting them to a higher level is massive for you to get some extra stats it literally doubles from level 50 to 70 in terms of your stats things like your plays down here really don't do much in the early game so i wouldn't worry about these too much although you can upgrade them your real focus should be on upgrading your skills and ascending your units obviously if you get lucky with a dupe awakening them can always be amazing right that will always help your progression the next sort of tip or the next progression suggestion would be really don't save your summons a whole lot um 
in this game summons are actually really hard to come by um and so what i would suggest doing in the early game at least for the first week or so is just to use them why well because you can actually get copies of epics that you wish to use for example like roko here who's a really solid healer in the beginning of the game very common to get copies of your epics um or your srs i guess to really amp up your progression if you decide to use a couple of those if you're not using any srs then potentially save your summons but i wouldn't worry about it too much especially your initial like 40 or so summons because if you did not know the way this game's pity system works is basically once you reach a certain amount of summons as you can see here if you've not summoned an ssr for 50 times in a row the next time we're going to increase our chance so roughly around 70 times is like a guaranteed ssr not necessarily guaranteed but very very likely so every 70 summons you're gonna need an ssr and you can get a decent amount in the early game but it does slow down quite a bit so just keep that in mind the last thing I want to recommend here for you to progress is focusing on team composition. I think this is probably the most important one. I have noticed that the melee characters are really, really bad unless they are specifically meant to tank. Reason for this is if you have someone like Aluya, for example, which is why I disagree with a lot of tier lists out there that say she's very, very good in the early game. I think she's actually pretty bad and the reason for this is she's an assassin so she jumps into the back line the problem with that is that she jumps into the back line which means she's focus fired down oftentimes and the problem with you know being focus fired is that you can't get damage out if you're dead so my recommendation for team composition is to run two ranged units a melee unit and then a healer um, in this case i have gildan who's arguably the best defensive unit in the game and she is my main tank so i run her as the tank and then i have fene and rita here as my ranged units in this case they are um, actual rangers which will really really amp up my damage and allow them to basically not die and then i use roko as a healer you can use roko you can also use uh asa i believe the name is he's pretty good i tried him out a little bit myself um, but he's got some good healing moves as well so either one can be good i used roko simply for the fact that i didn't really pull a lot of copies of asa um, whereas i did pull a ton of copies of roko so she is four star now so i decided to use her instead okay that's gonna be all of my tips to progress quickly in this game hope you guys are enjoying the game i've been really having fun and the current plan for the channel and for the videos right now is to play this game um, and have some fun with it I will have an update for those of you that are curious about infinite magic raid potentially i've already posted it potentially i'll post it the other tomorrow um but right now i'm prepping for honkai star rail is kind of the main goal because i'm really excited about that game but until then i'm going to be enjoying this game and who knows i might still play that game afterwards so be sure to sub if you're that interests you at all and i will see you all for a video tomorrow